for the Devil of the Details Big Match Preview. Hello and welcome to Devil in the Details, Salford Red Devils independent fad podcast and this week the match preview against the Wigan Warriors at the AJ Bell Stadium on Friday night. We're going to go through the stats with you this week and also the um, battle for this week as well. We've got uh, quite some good battles to talk about later on. So we'll start with the uh, try scorers uh, leading the way this season. You've got Junior South for the Red Devils who's on 12 tries. You've got Niall Evals who's on 10 tries and Justin Carney who's on 8 tries. So Junior South are having a fantastic season for the Red Devils so far. Um, you know, he's a fan's favourite and his, his work this season is much appreciated by the loyal Salford fans. Uh, moving on to the top tacklers, you've got George Griffin who's on 504 tackles uh, you've got Logan Tompkins on 500 and Craig Kopchak and Mark Flanagan both on 470 so the uh, the front row and the pack there leading the way with the tackling up the middle of the park uh, we'll move on to the top meter makers you've got Justin Carney who's leading the way in Super League as the highest meter maker on 2,248 uh, Junior Sow again on 1,587 and you've got Josh Griffin who's going to be missed um, for the next few weeks uh, with 1,536 so he's still our third top meter to make which you know by all accounts says a lot for him and his work he's put in this season so far we'll move on to uh, this week's visitors the Wigan Warriors uh, their top try scorers you've got uh, Don Manfredi on 10 tries and uh, and Josh Charnley on 10 tries as well and you've got John Bateman who's on seven tries and um, so far this season who you know it involved in a bit of an altercation by all accounts on social media with a, a fellow teammate in Lee Mossop um, we'll move on to their tackle, their top tacklers for this season. You've got Sam Powell, who's uh, replaced the injured uh, Mickey McAlorin uh, at Hooker. He's on 667 tackles so far. You have got uh, John Bateman, who's on 453, and Ryan Sutton on 402. So again, pretty much their pack. Uh, and the versatility of Bateman there leading the way on the tackle counts with Sam Powell leading the way also. Uh, top metre makers, you've got uh, Dan Sargenton on 2,202. Uh, Josh Charnley again on 1,844 and John Bateman again who's involved in, in all of the stats this week for Wigan on 1,795 so he's going to be a player to watch. Uh, so that's the information on the stats for you. We're now going to move on to this week's battles. So we're now going to move on to uh, this week's battles and where the game I think is going to be won and lost um, this season. We're going to start with the battle of the fullbacks. You've got Gaz O'Brien versus um, Sam Tompkins. Uh, you know O'Brien has been one of the Salford's best performers this season so far, uh, and he's pretty much made that number one spot his own, uh, having replaced Evalds in the starting lineup. Uh, you know he's got a fantastic conversion rate and kicking game as O'Brien, so he's got uh, versatility for that, and he'll definitely need to be on 100% uh, with the boot on Friday night to make sure that the Reds are going to come out on top. You know, I think his position in this season has been fantastic. Um, he's done quite a lot of hard work in defence as well. Um, but you know, his his kicking attributes have been fantastic for us this season. Uh, you've got Sam Tompkins on the Warriors team. You know, he comes back after only just getting back to full fitness, really, by their all accounts. Uh, after the uh, close season signing back from New Zealand Warriors, uh, we're, you know, we're all aware of what this guy can do uh, in attack and defence. So you know, if we're gonna send anybody out i think you need to look at the big big players like you know cop jack uh, ben murdoch masillo well haraki get them you know stuck in early days um you know as soon as the kickoff really you know if we can label him out that'd be fantastic for us and i think you know if we can do that hopefully the reds can come out victorious um I'm going to talk about the next two key battles because I think this is going to be very important come Friday night uh, and you've got the battle of the props uh, which is Craig Kopjack and Ben Flower you know where do we start with Craig Kopjack? you know another key player for the Reds this season uh, for me I think he's been you know one of our fantastic players this season so far you know rolling forward rolling down the park you know he's, he's, he's done some good powerful runs and you know with 470 tackles as well you know under his belt this season he controls that middle of the park defensive line quite well and I think he encourages the others as well. I mean, you look at the tackle count so far, you've got him, uh, George Griffin and Lord Tompkins, which is the, you know, the front three for the, the Red Devils, you know, so they're leading the way. And I think Copjack's a big part of that. Uh, so I can see him having a, a, you know, a big say in the game on Friday. Um, you've got Ben Flower as well, who's, you know, he's a key player for the Warriors this season. You know, he's had his, his on-field issues uh, from last season's grand final, hopefully put behind him. You know, and he, he, he does take the ball up quite strong and quite fierce down the middle of the park, um, you know, for the back line. 
uh, of Wigan to you know get over and get the tries and you know they have got a very talented backline as Wigan which they, they have done and get the tries and you know they have got a very talented backline as Wigan which they, they have done you know for quite a while I mean you've got Don Manfredi you've got Oliver Gildart you know both been on loan at Salford we know what they can do with the ball uh, so I think this battle with him and Craig Kopchak will be a good one to watch um, the next one is the Battle of the Centres. I've gone this week with uh, Junior Sow and Dan Sargentson uh, because I think both of those are having a very big season for, for the respective clubs. Uh, you know, Junior Sow with 12 tries, you know, and over, you know, 1,500 metres that he's put in this season. It just shows the improvement that he has made this season and, you know, the fans are really respectful of that uh, and they can see his hard work and that's why he is, you know, a fan's favourite among the, the, the faithful at the AJ Bell Stadium. So, you know, he's going to be one to watch I think for Wigan I think they'll sort of single him out um, I know a few of the players have been speaking on social media um, about the game and you know um, a few of the press have been saying you know who's going to be standing out and Junior Sal's name is getting mentioned quite a lot in, in all the games this year you know as is Dan Sargent and you know England international um, got a point to prove this season and he's off to, to Australia uh, to try and make his name over in the NRL another key player that's you know going overseas which you know we need to be keeping these key players whether it's Salford whether it's any other clubs you know the, the, the Super League uh, need to sort of be keeping these players um, to perform well in our sport over here so yeah I've gone through quite a few battles there you've got obviously other battles um, amongst the game you know Robert Louis is going to have a big say in it as is Matty Smith former Red you know coming back to the AJ Bell Stadium he's got a good kicking game uh, he leads them well um, you know, a lot of Wigan supporters that I know personally are saying, you know, he's, he's quite a good player for them. So it'll be an interesting game. Um, I think we'll just about sneak it. Uh, I think at home, we've got the home advantage. And I know at the start of the season when we did play them at uh, the uh, DW Stadium, it was, you know, a close game. We, we should have come away with a victory. Uh, apart from those last minute errors uh, from, from officials, from ourselves. Uh, you know, so it was quite gutting. So we can get the support down to the AJ Bell Stadium to watch the lads on Friday. Um, you know, I know the club are doing quite a lot to promote it. So that's, you know, all hands on deck, really. If we can get the same atmosphere we did there last season, when we just picked them at the post, um, you know, the atmosphere we had there was great, especially with Devil in the Detail bringing the ex-players um, from 96 to won the Challenge Cup. So, yeah, let's get behind the boys gone through a few things there with the key players to watch and all the stats and figures for this week so this is your big match preview live video coming to you it's time for the devil of the details big match preview 